Hi friends, I am Rishmi Elias and I will be discussing today a shortcut method to solve the problems based on compound interest. This shortcut is based on Pascal's triangle. So you will be knowing what Pascal's triangle is. So you need to understand how we are writing this triangle. So the first number will be 1, 1. And in the next row there will be three numbers which is one number more than the numbers in the previous row. So in the first row it was 1 1. There were two numbers. And in the second row there will be three numbers. And always remember the first and last number is 1. And the second number is obtained by adding the numbers in the previous row. In the previous row the numbers are 1 and 1. So you just need to add those numbers. So 1 plus 1 you will get it as 2. Same way. In the next row, there will be four numbers. First and last number will be 1. And the second number is obtained by adding the first two numbers of the previous row. So, 1 plus 2, you will get it as 3. And the next number is obtained by adding the last two numbers of the previous row. So, 2 plus 1 is again 3. Similarly, we can find the number in the next row. So, the first and last number will be 1. The second number will be obtained by adding the first and second number of the previous row. So you will get it as 1 plus 3, 4. And the next number is obtained by adding the second and third number of the previous row. So 3 plus 3, you will get it as 6. And the third number is obtained by adding the last two numbers of the previous row. So again 3 plus 1, you will get it as 4. So the number will be 14641. Hope you understood how we are writing the Pascal's triangle. Now coming to the shortcut. If you are asked to find out the compound interest after 2 years. You have to take the number in the second row. That is 121. And if you are asked to find out the compound interest after 3 years. You have to consider the third row. That is 1331. Likewise. Depending on the number of years, you have to take the corresponding numbers. Now, we will do some problems to get these points clear. So, the first question is, find the compound interest for a principal amount of 1000 rupees at 10% for 2 years. So, this is the question. So, what you have to do is, first of all, here the number of years is 2. So, from the Pascal's triangle, we have to take the second row. That is 1, 2, 1. So, write this number 1, 2, 1. Next step is write the principal amount below the first number. Here, the principal amount is 1000. So, below 1, you write 1000. And below 2, what you have to write is, here the rate of interest is 10 percentage and the principal amount is 1000. So, take 10 percentage of 1000. We know that 10 percentage of 1000 is 100. So, write 100 below 2. Now, the next step is, again take 10 percentage of the answer which we got now. That is 100. So, 10 percentage of 100 is 10. After this, you have to multiply the numbers in each column. That is, in the first column, you have to multiply 1 and 1000. So, 1 into 1000, you will get it as 1000. In the second column, 2 into 100, you will get it as 200. And in the third column, 1 into 10, that is 10. Now, in our question, we are asked to find out the compound interest which we will get after 2 years. So, for that what you have to do is just leave the first column and add the values in the rest of the columns. So, you will get 200 plus 10. 210 as the answer. And if the question is to find out the total amount which we will get after 2 years, what we have to do is add the values in all the columns. So, we will get it as 1000 plus 200 plus 10 that is 1210. If you are asked to find out the difference between the simple interest and the compound interest for the same principal amount, same rate of interest and same number of years, what we have to do is leave the first two columns and take the values in rest of the columns. Here there is only one column left so the answer will be 10. 
Now let us see one more question. Find the compound interest for principal amount of 8000 rupees at 5% per annum for 3 years. So the first step is here it is for 3 years. So we have to take the third row from the Pascal's triangle that is 1 3 3 1. Now below 1 you have to write the principal amount. Here the principal amount is 8000 and below 3 take 5 percentage of 8000. 5 percentage of 8000 is 400. Write it below 3. Again take 5 percentage of 400 and write it in the third column. So you will get it as 20 and in the fourth column again take 5 percentage of 20. So you will get it as 1. Third step is multiply the numbers in each column. So in the first column you will get 1 into 8000, 8000. In the second column 3 into 400, 1200. And in the third column 3 into 20, 60. And in the fourth column 1 into 1, 1. After doing this much we can find the answer. First question is to find the compound interest. So what you have to do? Leave the first column and add the values in rest of the columns. So you will get it as 1200 plus 60 plus 1. So the answer will be 1261. If the question is to find out the difference between the simple interest and compound interest, what will be the answer? Leave the first two columns and add the rest of the columns. So you will get it as 60 plus 1. Answer will be 61. Finally, if the question is to find out the total amount which you will get after 3 years, what we have to do? Add the values in all the columns. So, we will get it as 8000 plus 1200 plus 60 plus 1. So, 8000 plus 1200 is 9200 plus 61. So, the answer will be 9261. Hope you all understood this shortcut. So, thanks for